And there's a boat there that's on a beam reach going away from the wind. He's coming across the river. He's probably going to jibe. Off to his starboard side, he'll, so he'll make a right hand turn here. And you'll see his boom swing around. There his cells are luffing. His jib sheet goes to, or jib cell goes to the other side. His boom swings across to the other side. So he let go of his right jib sheet. Let it come across. Now he pulls in his left jib sheet. And he just heads back off into the other direction. So that's called a jibe. He's on a beam reach or a broad reach sailing away from the wind back and forth. Then he just Scoots off in the other direction, heading up river. Trims in his jib cell towards just catching as much wind as he can. So he needs to trim that in right now and pull that port jib sheet in. Where that jib cell is nice and full. There, it looks like he's got it down, trimmed in just right. I mean, you don't want it trimmed in too much. I mean, you want to have some curvature to it and have it be full of wind. You don't want it out too far where it's not catching enough wind. But what I would do, right as I made that turn, as you're jibing, I would, right as the, there's no more resistance on that mainsail, and right as he was turning right, I would pull in the main sheet and pull that boom in a little bit. So as he turned, it wouldn't slam off over to the port side. Then as the, you went back on your different tack, then I'd release the main sheet and let that boom and that mainsail swing out a little bit. So it was a nice smooth transition from one side to the other. Got a cool boat coming off to our left here. Well, like this guy's on a, broad reach. The sailboat here is on a close reach. He's going into the wind. He's on a port tack. The wind coming over his port side. And he's going to have to turn here to his left. He's getting close to the shore where I'm standing. But he's going to have to turn sometime here pretty soon. And you'll see his sails luff in the wind when he's directly going into the wind. The sails will start to luff. He'll release that main sheet and let his boom swing over to the starboard side.
release that right jib sheet, let that jib sail swing back to the port side and pull in that left jib sheet. And his mainsail swings over to the other side. Now you're back on a starboard tack. So that was a good example right there. But you just do that back and forth across the river. It's pretty fun. Like he's making another turn. He's heading up into the wind. I saw his sails starting to luff. Now he's back on his right tack. Exciting stuff. It's fun. So, all right, I'm pretty much out of memory on this memory card now, so I'll wrap it up here.